Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and this is episode 8 of my Let's Play Evercom Mercenary series. In our last episode, uh, we did an escort mission, and I showed you both the right and the wrong way to do it. And we also, um, I also showed you how, why you shouldn't FTL into a planet's atmosphere. And, uh, but now, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to make money in this game. Now, it will require you to have at least, um, 500,000 credits. So, uh, obviously I didn't have that when I, uh, um, ended the video last time. So I went on here and I, uh, I did a, I think I did about 10 or 15 contracts off camera to get this money. So, um, yeah, you'll want to do that, uh, before you start this tutorial. Now, um, the guild cash... It's supposed to have a bunch of Exodus missiles on it. I tried several times off camera to actually recover the missiles and I wasn't successful, but um, I showed you how to get to it. So if you want to give it a try, feel free to do so. Actually, I'd like to know um, how you actually get those missiles, honestly, but anyway. But once you do this, uh, you, won't, uh, you won't be needing for money for a while. All right, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to head back to the Pearl system. Oh, whoa. Okay, I almost collided with that, uh... That, uh, no. Okay, what happens if I go into this thing backwards? Let's see. Just practice of strafing maneuvers are learned in the uh, combat section of this series. All right, here we go. All right. Now our ultimate goal is to get to the Pearl System, which is right down here. Now we're going to travel through a lot of hostile space along the way, so um, be prepared for that. But I'll show you the best way to avoid uh, getting killed. So let's see, we wanna go to Thuban, I believe that's pronounced. And then we're gonna go over to Pisces, or Pisces, however you pronounce it. And then uh, we're gonna go to Pearl. So let's get started here. First things first, we wanna find uh, next jump gate. And it's really hard to find these gates sometimes because it's just how close-knit everything is. Let's see, where is this? Alright, nope, that's not where we want to go. It's probably going to be down here somewhere. Nope. Ah, here we go. Way down here. Let's see. Now I gotta find it. Let's see. One, two, three. Honestly, one of the difficult parts in this game is finding uh, <clears throat> these jump gates when they're close together. All right. I think it might actually be right. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's make sure we've got neutral pitch. And our rotation's lined up. Hit the jump button. Okay. And adjust our heading a little bit. Can use our strafing, strafing thrusters for that. Excuse me. Okay, now we're in hostile space. No problem. 
at the afterburners. And once you're over like um, 2,000, missiles can't hit you. Like, watch. See? They can't keep up with us. So as long as you get keep your speed up really high, you can you can outmaneuver these guys. But we can't sit around here for too long. Lollygagging and whatnot. So let's find that next one. Ah, here we go. ACs. Where's that Pisces? Is that kind of like a tomato tomato thing? Pisces Pisces. There we go. All right, now I'm probably gonna come in here all wonky because I didn't level out my pitch. Yep. Not a problem. Now you wanna be quick because they'll uh, they'll call in reinforcements. All right, and I think this is actually a neutral. Okay, this is actually a fair reputation, so pretty safe here for the most part. All right, now we want to go to the Pearl system, just right there. Make sure we got a neutral pitch. Oh, too far. All right. We'll let the autopilot uh, take us about halfway there. It's probably about a jump and a half. Now you don't want to jump in there on autopilot because you actually uh, lose a lot of your uh... basically you can't steer your ship and so you want to um, you know if you're jumping into well we're not really in hostile space but it's a good habit to get into all right and we overshot this one again. That's okay. Like I said, we're not in hostile space, so we can actually... Uh... Yeah, we can maneuver. We've got enough time to maneuver. Now, Pearl's going to be a hostile system, so we'll want to be very quick about uh, jumping in and out. Now I got this from the, uh, um, from the forums. Um, from what I've heard, this is the most profitable trade plane in the game, and it's pretty easy to uh, to do once you get out here. You just have to know where this uh, where this planet's located. All right. Let's see here. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna jump right here. Basically, we want to get to the uh, Oasis station, but I'm not gonna make a waypoint on top of it. I'm gonna make a waypoint slightly, um, actually, let's, Let's make a let's make a point right here. This would be a good place. And I'll show you why I'll, um, I'm doing this in a in a minute. It, it'll all make sense once we get everything set up. All right. All right. We're gonna 
going to map log. Alright, um, Pearl system. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lock that in our nav point. That's a very important step. All right. All right. Let's get ourselves up to 2K here. But yeah, see, missiles can't hit you if you're traveling fast enough. All right, now they're going to be calling in for reinforcements soon, so let's get our neutral pitch here. Right click on Port Oasis. Jump. Ah, crap. Okay. Pay the docking fee, and enter the station immediately. Okay, so we should be safe from enemy fire here. Now, you'll see everything's like ridiculously priced, because we're in a high, um, high economy zone. So what you want to do is buy as much as you can, but make sure you leave yourself at least, uh, we'll say 150 grand, just be on the safe side, because we're going to have to pay a docking fee at the... Um, the other location and buy um, buy high-tech stuff like uh, let's see here what can we afford right now uh, let's go ahead and pick up a level 5 fulcrum drive and we have about another cannon relay system and something really cheap uh, Cargo scanner. Actually, no. Let's let's not have the cargo scanner on there. Leech missiles. Sure, why not? Actually, let's let's just go with this. This I, I don't because we're gonna have to pay like a a pretty hefty docking fee at the next station. So we'll just keep it like this. Docking track to disengaged. Right. Now you want to blast out of here like the Millennium Falcon. And I like to get up to like... 3,000. Alright. And now you get to like... You can drift away and laugh at them as they try to shoot missiles at you. And we're going to go ahead and... They were waiting for me here. Okay, now we have to enter in the uh, navigational coordinates of this hidden planet. Alright. Let's start with the uh, X coordinates 63621 for the local X, 3495 for the local Y. It's really hard to focus when uh, I'm getting missile notifications. Oh, look at that. My radar is lighting up like a Christmas tree. Alright. Okay, so where was I? 3495 was the Y coordinate. Negative four zero six. Oh, and uh, when you do this, save when you're inside that station. It'll save you a lot of headache if you die on the way. 88. 
negative one eight two eight. Okay, so the coordinates are locked in. We're gonna add that to the log. This is the uh, famous hidden planet in the Pearl system that some of you guys might have read about on the forums. All right, and we're gonna engage the autopilot. And it's gonna take us a while to get there. Alert, zone. It's gonna take us a few jumps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll resume when I get to the hidden planet. Okay, this should be the last jump. So I thought, oh, we're almost there. There's the planet right there. That's the hidden planet. Okay, yeah, this is the last jump. And now that I think about it, I probably should have equipped the uh, level five fulcrum drive. Would have made things move a little faster, but, well, you know how it goes. All right. Let's bring ourselves to a stop here. All right, so this is the uh, famous hidden planet on the Pearl system. Now, if you put in the coordinates exactly as I put them in to my computer, you should come out right here um, near the, uh, the station and the uh, actual um, planet should be right in front of us. Now you, now you can get these coordinates off of um, the forums, but you got to be careful because they give the center point of the planet, so you have to adjust Gosh. a little bit. Alright. But my coordinates will put you right here, so all you have to do is just line her up. Now let's slow our descent a little bit. And then we just land on a planet like nor like we normally would. Pretty simple stuff. But yeah, I don't... I don't know how many jumps that was. It felt like 20, 30. And obviously with a higher level fulcrum drive, it'll take fewer jumps. And I guess technically you could um, accelerate to like 7,000, almost 8,000, I think is the maximum speed of a ship. Actually, it's a little bit below that. And just fly over there. But that would take longer. ourselves around here so we're not flying upside down and it sounds like we've got hail or at least very heavy rain slow ourselves down here We're gonna have to pay a docking fee of uh, 111,000. So that's why I wanted to make sure you guys could save some money. Now then, remember that fulcrum drive we bought? Well, the stuff's now selling for a much higher rate. So if we sell that, we made a little bit of a profit. But it's a lot more noticeable when you buy, like, stuff that's worth a few thousand. So let's go ahead and refuel our ship here. Wow, that didn't really seem to do much at all for me. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's do another run. Uh, 
see if we do better. didn't make a lot of money on that run, so let's try to try to do this other one, see what we can do. And I'll come back after I've done that. Okay, I'm back, and I did another trade run. <coughs> this time I uh, loaded up on weapons, so let's see how, how will I do. Much better on that trip. I actually made a decent amount of money. So I told you wrong on the first time. The trick is to buy uh, weapons because the uh, the equipment doesn't seem to uh, have much of a markup. But as you can see, I just made uh, what's that like two grand right there? Or not two grand, um, two hundred thousand just on that one trip. Now, once you're able to afford uh, equipment that's worth like a million then you can come by and, uh, and get a lot more money that way. So I think I'm going to do one more trip before I wrap this video up, so I'm going to head out of here. Oh, by the way, um, we used about 300 units of fuel, so keep that in mind when you're uh, traveling back and forth. Alright, well let me do one more round and see how much money we can get. Alright, I'm back and I did another um, quick trade run. Trebuchet cannon, Predator selling pretty well, and the Exodus missiles, I just filled up on those. So let's see. Oh, pay my docking fee. And as you can see, we made a uh, broken million. So with this, you can slowly build up money until you're able to afford a uh, fulcrum torpedoes and bring those back and you can probably sell those I think they go for like you spend two grand on them and you get four I mean so two million on them and you get four million back so you can once you get to two million you can just go back and forth with fulcrum torpedoes and make a ton of money but uh, I'm not going to show you all that you get the gist of how all this is done and uh, with a 800 capacity fuel tank with a fulcrum drive uh, C3 you can get about two round trips in on one uh, um, container of gas fuel. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap the tutorial up here. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video or help it, thought, if you thought it was helpful, please click the like button and leave a comment below. Um, also, um, tell me what other topics you want me to cover in this series. After all, this is supposed to be a tutorial series, so uh, um, just let me know what you guys want to see and I'll see if I can make it happen when I've got some